Now if you have a lot of data in your table, it may be beneficial to categorize that data. This is a really cool feature of numbers. So let's take a look at categories. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a spreadsheet. This is our workout tracker. This is just a template that comes with numbers. And in this template, there's a table that keeps track of my workouts. And you can see I have different activities, weight training, swimming, biking, running. Wouldn't it be great if I could group these together? So then I could see when I did these on a certain day or how long I did them. This is where categories come into play. To categorize these, all I have to do is go up to the top of the column of the data that you want to categorize. So I want to categorize activities. So I go up to my B here, the top of the column, and on the right side of the column you're going to see this little arrow here. When I click on that, there's going to be a new selection, categorized by this column. And watch what happens when I click on this. It basically just took all of the weight trainings and grouped them together. Then it took all of the swimming and grouped them together. And all of the biking and grouped them together. So it's grouping everything together in that column. Now what I can do with these categories is hide them. So I only want to see the swimming. So I can actually go and hide the biking and I can go and hide the running. Now I'm only looking at the swimming. I want to see them all again. Just go up to weight training and select it and now I'm looking at the weight training. You can also create subcategories. Let's take a look at another template to see how subcategories work. So I have this soccer team that I'm managing. This is another template that comes with numbers. And in this particular spreadsheet, I'm looking at the schedule. And you're going to see here I have home and away games. Let's go and categorize these home and away games. I want to group all of my home games together and all of my away games together. Go up to the top, go over to the triangle, and categorize by this column. Okay, pretty simple. Now they're all grouped together. The next thing I want to do though is I want to group them by the day that they were held. So if I go over to the very front of this spreadsheet, you're going to see I have day in here, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday. I want to categorize these by the day. So now what I do is I go up to the top here and click on categorize by this column. Now what this is going to do is this is going to create a subcategory. Click on it. And now you can see here my away games are still all grouped together, but within that away game, I can see which games were held on Sunday, which ones were held on Saturday, and which ones were held on Monday. And if I go down further, here's the home games. Here's the home games that were held on Sunday, and the home games that were held on Saturday. Maybe what I want to do is I want to reverse this. I need to promote the day to be the primary category. How do you do that? Well, let's go up to this row that has the day in it. And we go over here to the left, and you got the little triangle by the row there, and we're going to see promote. Now what this promote is going to do is it's basically going to reverse these categories. Right now, we have the home and away as the primary category, and the day as the subcategory. When I promote this, it's going to actually put the day as the primary category, and the home and away as the subcategory. Let's do this. And now you can see I have Sunday as the primary category and on Sunday here's all the games that were held away and here's all the games that were held at home. So basically just reversed them. Now you can also access this data or these features by going to the reorganize button up in the toolbar. When I click on that, and you do have to have the table selected, but when I click on that we're going to get our little window that opens up, our reorganize window. And down at the bottom here, this is where we have our categories. So I can actually go in here and make some more adjustments, add some more subcategories. So those are categories in numbers. As you can see, it's a very powerful tool, particularly if you have a lot of data and you want to group them together. It's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is go to the top of the column and select categories. And it'll categorize everything within that column. And if you want to subcategorize a category, all you have to do is go to that column and click Categorize, and it'll create a subcategory. 
if you wanted to promote a category, make that the primary category. Just go over to that row that that category is in and click on Promote and it'll reverse the categories. So that's categories in numbers.